Let's talk about what uh, Pokemon cards I think are underrated, and you guys might look at the Zapdos and think that's not underrated, but let's just dive into it real quick. I got a few up here. Um, I think that this card, I don't know how you got, It's I know it's a Zapdos, but you have all three legendary birds, and the pricing, um, so this is price charting if you're not familiar. Um, ungraded, this is going for around 30 bucks. Um, this this scans eBay and stuff, so this is a good a way to, you can check like graded um, pricing and ungraded. PSA 10, it's going for like between 90 and 195 bucks. Um, I don't see how this is not like a $50 card, honestly. Like I know like that would put it above like the Venusaur, but honestly, I think that that long term, like this card is, this card is really, really sick. Um, if we look at the, uh, the pop report on it right here, you guys can see we get 5,300 graded and 2,100, um, tens. So it's, it's a little tough to grade. Um, it's not super easy. Um, so yeah, I mean, it is, it is highly graded. Um, it's nowhere near the Charizard with 11,000, um, copies graded, but, um, popular Pokemon. I, I still think that's an underrated card. Next up, um, here's a super cheap card. I actually just pulled this the other day, which is pretty cool. Um, this is the nine tails. I mean, if you just look at this artwork here, um, ungraded sales, you can see right here around seven bucks. Um, gen one Pokemon, not one of the most popular, but definitely, um, cool, beautiful artwork. Um, PSA 10 sales, you can see over here in like the $80 range. Um, if we look at the pop report, let's see how hard it is to grade this. So not too many of these graded. 1600 but only 510 so um the irs tend to be harder than the sirs like the non-textured it seems they tend to have um scratches and whatnot so um i think this is super undervalued i mean if you guys are looking at this artwork i know it's small in this thumbnail right here but um man i don't know man i i feel like this should be like 15 to 20 dollar range at least 15 i mean come on that's over doubling in price beautiful card um I think it's just because it's in Obsidian Flames, it kind of gets a lot of shit for that, unfortunately. But, um, all right. And then, if you guys are this far in the video, um, you're probably not subscribed. I've been trying to do daily videos, so if you guys could uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the, the thumbs up while you're there, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, okay, now, this next one might be controversial. So, this is uh, Sprigatito from Paldea Evolved. Going for 850 Now, let me tell you why I think this is super underrated. If you guys haven't seen the new Pokemon show, Horizons, um, Sprigatito is the main character's, like, starter uh, that she gets, and um, I don't think it's, like, the strongest show as of yet, but it is, like, cute and adorable. I did watch, um, like, the whole first season. So, you guys gotta keep in mind that, you know, maybe not a short-term play, but uh, long-term, this is the first um, IR of Sprigatito that came out in Paldea, so... Um, it is a little harder to grade, I think. So you can see the price over here, 112. Um, but yeah, so you can pick this up on eBay. It seems, you know, between eight and 12. Um, harder to grade, like pop report. There's not that many graded though, too. So keep that in mind. 256 graded, but only 52 tens. So I think that's why that it's um, taking that higher price. But um, a lot of them are getting nines. It's just the same problem with the IRs. And then here's another one. Same exact thing, you guys, if you haven't seen Horizons, um, Fue Coco is pretty adorable in that as well. And so I would say, I don't know if he'll be more popular or less popular than Sprigatito. Um, I think he's he's like kind of derpy. It's pretty funny. So um, yeah, I mean, you're looking at like 10 bucks here and 88 and a 10. Um, so, and also these cards, um, this one and the Sprigatito here, they carry like a little... Um, and the Quaxley as well. Um, I think Quax is going to be the least popular though, but they carry a little storyline through them. So I like the ones that tell a story as the evolutions go. Um, so I think that the uh, the evolutions of these guys as well, but I think that the starters, um, long term, these kids growing up watching the show, I think it's going to mean a lot to them um, in the coming years. Um, Pop Report on Fue Coco. Once again, not that many graded, um, but it is kind of a tougher grade. 311 graded, only 59 tens. Um, but the good news is if you guys look at this, this Fue Coco and the Sprigatito here, not that many graded, which means there's a lot of gradable copies out there. So it's, it hasn't been, even though it is a tougher grade, like you see the Magikarp down here, which is, you know, similar. Um, it's hard to grade 
2,500 and 500 copies, but there's opportunity here because not many have been graded. So just keep that in mind. I just wanted to share with you guys um, maybe a little bit different of a list than you guys will see in some of these underrated cards. Um, so just to summarize, Fue Coco and Sprigatito, I think, are, are great no-brainer cards. This Nine Tails, super affordable, really underrated, and then kind of a more popular one, but I still think is really underrated is the Zapdos. But um, that's going to do it. Those are just, just my opinions. Just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, appreciate you for watching, and if, if you aren't subscribed, um, it would mean a lot to me if you go down there and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button while you're there. Um, let me know in the comments um, what you guys think of this list, and as always, it was never a phase. I'll catch you in the next one.